my friends, I'm here today with another video for you today, but before I get started with the video, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you for um, being so nice and such so positive and just so friendly. Um, you know, with my first few videos here, I'm so grateful to have gotten some subscribers and so many lovely comments and everything, and I just really, really wanted to say thank you. It really does mean a lot to me, um, and this is something that I'm excited to be doing. Um, something that's kind of fun for me to venture into, um, something that I can kind of call my own. Um, you know, I, I look after my family and everything all day, every day, and this is just something that, you know, it's a little part of me that I love, be it beauty and fashion and all of those things, and I get to share it with all of you, um, people who also maybe feel the same way I do about beauty and fashion and all those wonderful things. So I just sincerely want to say thank you. Um, for today's video though, I wanted to, I'm showing you my watercolor speedy again. Um, I'm just going to do, um, I wanted to do a review of the um, uh, bag organizer that I got um, and I have been absolutely loving it. I knew I already loved this bag, um, but I love it even more now with this organizer. So we will get to that in, in a few minutes, but to, in order to get to the organizer in here, um, I thought I'd just sort of do um, a what's in my bag video for you um, at the same time and then at the end I'll do a bit of a review of the organizer and I will kind of show you how I'm using it right now, kind of how I pack it and everything. So let's get started. So I will do show you quickly inside um, what my bag uh, currently looks like. It is organized quite nicely, or at least I feel that it is. Everything kind of has its place. It's not all rumbling and rolling around and everything in here. So I, I'm very happy with it. Um, and I will just get into what's inside here. Uh, first off in the one pocket, very exciting, some Purell hand sanitizer, you just never know, we always need it for the kids, always need it for myself, it's you know, just one of those things I'm sure a lot of us have in our bag. Um, next up I have my car keys, so I've got my regular key fob for the car as well as my remote starter and just all my other little keys and everything on there, the key chain's nothing special. It's just the one that happened to come with the, with the car. Uh, next up is my little sunglass case. This is just a cute little sunglass case I had got at um, American Eagle. Um, I love the color of it. I just thought it was kind of fun. Um, little design on the outside of the sunglasses and of course my girls loved it so we ended up with it. <laughs> and inside I just have my uh, Oakley frog skins. Uh, I just like the way they look. They're really fun, easy to wear in the summer. Uh, they just kind of remind me of, you know, when I was younger and stuff and the frog skins were really in style and I kind of, one of the best features I like about it um, is, you know, when you wear your sunglasses on top of your head and everything like that. My kids, um, well my two and a half year old, she has a tendency to knock my sunglasses off my head all the time and so they've hit the ground quite a few times. There's a few scratches in the lenses but not too bad but the arms of them just, they pop off so they're really, really great and if you were to accidentally um, sit on them, well then the arms will pop off and hopefully they won't be any more broken than that but love these sunglasses uh, next up I have my little um, little coach pouch um, coach is where my love of handbags started so coach will always have a special place um, in my heart um, it's you know something that I'll just always remember and everything so this little pouch I've had for absolute eons it's been in all of my handbags and everything like that and just inside you it's all those fiddly cards you know that you don't really know what to do with points cards reward cards loyalty cards um, and I do keep some of my gift certificates and all that type of thing in there so it's just you know those cards that don't really fit into your wallet but you kind of feel like you need to carry them with you and everything uh, next up I have my uh, notebook. This is a recent notebook for me. Um, I absolutely, um, I guess it goes this way, doesn't it? Um, I absolutely love this pattern. It's kind of just like a suede sort of feeling um, little notebook. I just love all of the flowers and all of the colors and everything on it. You guys will soon see, start to see the trend that for myself, I absolutely love color and I love anything that sparkles and uh, a lot of my things are gonna reflect that uh, in coming videos and stuff. Anyways, it just has two little snaps here and it just opens up and it's just, you know, a regular um, lined notebook. I just keep, um, all of my little notes of lists and stuff and everything in it. 
um, you know, video ideas and everything like that. It does have a little slot here for a pencil that came with it. Um, I've wanted to try to be able to find a pen that would fit into it. So far I haven't been able to find a pen that's skinny enough. It's really, really tight. A little slot for the um, writing tool to go into so we'll see if I can find anything otherwise the pencil will be what stays in there and I just really like the extra little detail here of the uh, gold lining on the pages and everything very girly again kind of shiny sparkly you know like I said <laughs> and then I have um, two little pouches here um, these um, I also, oh, I didn't say, I got the notebook actually from Chapters Indigo and the next two little pouches that I also keep in my bags, uh, mainly just because I don't like everything rubbing up against my wallet or if anything was to leak or just, you know, get dirty or everything, I just kind of like to keep it in its own separate little pouch. These I got from Chapters Indigo as well. I have to say that Chapters Indigo, um, as much as it's a bookstore, it has really great little gift items like these would make a great gift for somebody um, in fact I've bought teachers gifts from there before shower gifts and everything and so I've always been kind of pleased it's one of those places you don't think to go to to look for things but when you go you can find some really great things and I found these there not that long ago actually um, but what I liked about them was the outside it's just you know like polyurethane but it's pretty colors and everything they had um, easily to be wiped and everything and they're just kind of stretchy and moldable to whatever you have in them so I just, I, I was quite impressed with them. Uh, inside, I keep just a bunch of odds and ends. I have my little cosmetics uh, mirror here, which is Hello Kitty. You've got probably quite the glare off of it because it is mirrored, but it's just one of those mirrors that has the one magnified side and the one regular side mirror in it, and it's Hello Kitty. It's just kind of cute, hey. Um, and then I have this mattifying... Um, it's called Skin by Dimitri James Plasma Flawless Finish Powderless Touch-Up Skin Perfector. Uh, I'm not sure where this came from. My mom actually gave it to me for my birthday in the fall. Um, but it just has, it's kind of like this waxy sort of maybe silicone feel to it, but it goes on really light. And when you put it on your skin and everything to kind of blot it and take any of the, the shine off your face partway through the day, it doesn't... Um, it doesn't look waxy, it just kind of has a powdery finish to it when it goes on and it doesn't disturb the makeup or anything that you have um, on so I really like it and has a nice mirror inside with it. Um, I just have my little pill container so I keep my allergy pills in there, you know, Advil and everything else like that for headaches. I have a little first aid kit that uh, my husband had given me for Christmas one year and it's just got you know tweezers band-aids little scissors some safety pins all those things that you just never know when you out and about and you just might need I have a ton of band-aids again because the kids are always skinning their knees as they're running around on this the pavement and <laughs> you just never know when you might need one of those um, I have a little tape measure um, I always carry a tape measure with me. I find it's one of those things that you wouldn't think you would need, but I have used this more times than I can count when I'm out and about. And I've used it when I'm out with my friends and everything too. Um, it's just kind of great to have. You know when you're trying to measure for, say, a piece of furniture or something for your house, trying to measure something, whether it might fit the kids. Um, I don't know. It's just something I'm always so grateful that I have in my bag. And like I said, I've used it so many times. Um, a little bit of a L'Occitane hand cream here. It's almost uh, completely empty, so I'll have to be replacing that soon. Um, I have the Band-Aid... I don't know, brand first aid products is what it says. It's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but I use it just to prevent um, on your feet. You know, sometimes when you're wearing flip-flops and everything and... Um, they kind of rub or new shoes kind of rub along the heel or the flip-flops you know in between the toes and everything like that you just rub it on and everything right along the skin of your foot and everything and it kind of prevents the the sticking and it gives it just some movement and everything so you don't get blisters they don't hurt um, it's a great little product uh, good old dental floss because you just never know when you might have something stuck in your teeth and you need to get it out um, Polysporin, the kids one, again, to go along with the band-aids. I have, oh, another <laughs> hand sanitizer. like to keep my hands clean. Uh, I have my EpiPen, uh, some hair clips, some ties, a pen, a 
bunch of safety pins, bobby pins in there. I have an extra set of contacts because again, you never know when you might need one of those. And another lip balm. You may find that this becomes a common theme um, in the next part of my bag. And then I always have this with me, which it doesn't look like much of anything. It's really only mainly important probably to myself. But it's kind of one of those things that I have found, again, quite handy to have over the years. I have um, the paint chips for the main rooms of our house, like the kids' bedrooms, our bedroom, um, and the main floor rooms and the basement and different things. I've got all the paint chips with me because, you know, when you're out and you're about and you kind of sometimes you see see something that you might like for the house, um, decorative, but you don't know whether it's going to really work with your color scheme or anything like that. I find it handy to have paint chips with me and you know you can match everything up and then I kind of have the measurements of say some of the important windows because you know I, I like to sometimes change my curtains up. Um, there's a couple places in our house that we still don't even have curtains um, and it, just walls and stuff like that or places that I would like to look for a piece of furniture. It's not anything that we're immediately in need of. It's just that if you happen to be out and you see something, oh, that might look nice in the house. Well, then I can check with the tape measure. I've got my measurements here and I know if it will fit. It seems maybe a little OCD, but I find it works for me. So that's it for that one. And then in the other little pouch, this is a bit of embarrassing because it's obscene um, how many I have in here. This is, as you can see, all full of lipsticks and lip glosses and all that type of thing. I am a little obsessed with caring about the number of lip products with me. I'm not a huge lipstick lover as in like the matte lipsticks or a true lipstick. I'm the type of girl that likes more just kind of like the tinted balms. Something that's just going to give your lips a little bit of a color but not overdo it too much. Um, I just find that most of the time I'm just running errands around town. Um, I'm out with the kids and that kind of thing and I just for myself personally I find lipstick is just a little too full on for me and I would much rather just have um, a lip gloss and that type of thing. So in here I have a couple of the Clinique Cheek Baby Tints. I have the Coming Up Rosy Color and the Flowering Freesia, which actually the Flowering Freesia I'm wearing right now. I love those two. Um, I do have one of the YSL Volupe Sheer Candies in number four. It's just a kind of pretty, you can see it there, hot pink color. What else do I have? Oh, these two lip products. That wasn't the best angle. These two <laughs> lip products are probably one of my favorites. They just kind of give your lips just that little bit of an extra um, tint to the, your lips. It looks like you've got a little something on, but nothing too heavy. It's the uh, Dior um, Lip Glow um, sticks, and they are, have them in the coral color and in just the regular pink that has been around for years. But I love those. I oh, If I don't know what to put on my lips, uh, I'm just not sure what color to wear, and I'm not wanting to go too dramatic, and those are always my go-tos. Uh, put that one aside, and oh, I have another one of the YSL. I really like these YSL, um, the Volupe Sheer Candy glosses, um, just because they aren't too, too heavy, but they definitely give you um, a color and everything to your lips. This one is the number six, and it's just um, the red one. It looks kind of bright in the tube and everything like that, but um, I find I just kind of pat it onto my lips, and it just gives a really pretty healthy red glow to your lips. And then last but not least, I have uh, three of the lips glosses from the NARS Christopher um, King collection. Um, I don't know, I really liked these lip glosses. I have the kind of the pink, the corally orange, and the, the nude color. The nude the nude color out of the three of them um, is probably my least favorite, but the, the coral one, um, which is nebulous, and uh, mesmer, which is the pink one, um, they both just leave, once they kind of wear off, they have a little bit of a stain. So they are quite sheer, um, but they give color. And then when the glossiness just wears off, you have a little bit of a stain. And that's, again, the type of lip product that I just like, that once it wears off, I don't like it to your lips to be all kind of patchy. I'm not really a lip liner person, and so, you know, I just don't like... Um, yeah, the patchiness and everything else. I just like when it's a nice stain. It's very minimal You don't have to think about what your lips look like after you've eaten and everything and if anything you can just throw a little bit of a like a lip balm on top of it just a clear lip balm and Away you go your lips look great again So that's oh no, there's one more thing in my bag here 
last but not least, my Sarah wallet, which I have been absolutely loving. Um, I am so happy with this wallet. I love that, um, you know, it. I what I actually like about this is that it is the new style, and I really love the um, envelope style kind of detail here and everything. I just think it makes it just that little extra detail and everything that I really, really love to it. So I've been using this nonstop since I've got it every single day, loving it. Um, I've got all my cards and everything in there. I do have a little bit of coin. I know some people don't like to do that because it does mark the inside, but it's a wallet. It's meant to be used, so I'm going to use it. Um, and yeah, I've been absolutely loving it. So there is what's in my bag and everything like that. Um, now to the part that I was really excited to show you guys is the purse organizer in here. I'll just, I will do some more close-ups and everything of this, um, you know, so you can kind of see. But that's the inside of the bag, or the inside of the organizer. Sorry. Um, and this organizer, I will pop it out for you now. Here, and I'll just put my bag down. Um, there we go. It is by Smorga. Um, it's getting a bit of a glare off of it at the moment. It is the cream color. Um, and I had kind of gone on to a couple forums and everything, and I had actually seen uh, Jerusha, Jerusha Couture. She had um, received one of these, and I think she showed it in her Neverfull um, and how to, to organize it and how it packed and everything. And I just loved the quality and the look of it and everything. Uh, so when I got my bag, um, that's what I decided to do that I would go and get one from there and I will say um, I purchased it on July 9th and I just received it on July 24th so I've had it for a few days now and I've got to use it for a few days and I'm absolutely loving it um, it is so lightweight it is made from a really good quality felt um, and everything like all the stitching on it and everything it is beautifully done it's really crafted um, well put together well and uh, I think anybody that was to get one of these would be completely happy with it. It's got lots of pockets um, on the inside. There's three pockets here um, and then three more pockets on the other side. These middle three pockets here, um, it is one big long strip that's all attached but um, it is attached on either end with uh, Velcro here so you could remove it if you wanted to so you could just have a big open space here and then on the outside of it which I don't know why it's glaring up so much there is three pockets and there's three more pockets on the other side so this bag organizer like I said it's been great it can hold lots of things um, in hindsight, when I ordered it, um, she had, for the Speedy 35, um, she had a ton of different styles and models that would fit that bag. And for some reason, I don't really know why, because it doesn't even make sense now, I thought it was really cool that you could remove the middle. And while it is very cool that you can remove the middle, I'm not really sure why I would want to, because in that case it would mean that I would have things rubbing up against my wall and other things. And so I kind of like that I have the two divisions on either side, so like I can put my wallet in here, or I can put it in here, put my notebook and my other little pouches over here, and everything will fit in. So I don't really know why I thought that was important because in hindsight I probably would have done um, is get I think she had a couple other ones where instead of three pockets across the sides they were two pockets and they actually would have been able to hold more each pocket does hold quite a bit it just doesn't hold all of the sizes of things that I would like um, but hey it, it's still great I can fit tons of things in here just like I said, if I was to do it again, I probably would have picked a different style. So make sure um, if you are to go on the website and um, make sure you take a look at all of the different styles really, really closely. She has tons and tons of pictures with each style um, and she shows them packed and everything so you can kind of get an idea of how you could pack them. What I probably would have liked um, instead is I think she has a couple that have on the outside here where these pockets are instead of it's just one big long pocket where you could fit a tablet in or I could fit my notebook um, in and I think I kind of would have preferred that a bit better because when I do want to carry my notebook with me um, it does kind of get a little crowded on the one side because I don't really want I put my wallet or something on the other side and I don't really want to have it touching <laughs> Maybe sounds silly, but I just, you know, I'm a little protective still of that multicolor piece and don't want to get scratched or erect or anything like that yet. So, um, but yeah, so definitely, you know, take a look at the pictures, make sure that, um, 
you know, you're getting all the detail and really think about how you would like your purse to be organized or your bag to be organized. Um, I will also say that um, when I did put in my order, um, I got an email from somebody named Lee, um, and that's who I communicated back and forth a couple times with. Um, they were great. Um, they emailed me just to let me know that um, they did have a bit of a backlog, but that the my item should be mailed out within a week. Um, and actually, it was it was perfectly on time. And she said from there, it's usually about two weeks shipping or everything, just being that it's coming from overseas and we're in Canada. So I didn't think that was too bad. And I did have it within that time frame and everything. Um, at one point she had mentioned that I would also be getting a tracking number with it which I didn't end up getting that tracking number until I had emailed her almost at that week and a half two week mark and uh, I had said you know just wanted to know if everything was okay and I just was wondering if you did have a tracking number and she had said oh I apologize I didn't send you the tracking number it did get sent to you I think it was like July 15th or something it got sent to you and she supplied me with the tracking and everything she had the Canada Post and the overseas tracking information and everything and ironically it actually arrived the next day <laughs> so I jumped the gun a little bit on that one but uh, she was really great instant like super fast communication and everything so I felt really good about my purchase and I would definitely you know if I ever have any more uh, handbags in the future that would you know need this type of thing I would purchase that from her again again I just I love the quality um, while I was on some of the purse forums and everything um, or the purse forum um, I know that there's always a lot of chitter chatter about different um, bag organizers and everything uh, and what you you know people feel can it do any damage can it stretch the bag and everything like that I will say everything is so soft there is no real sharp edges or anything so I don't feel that it would um, it would stretch or cause any damage to your bag. If anything, it's just going to completely protect your bag. Um, and for myself, when I put this inside the bag here, it's not too hard to put in. Um, I just kind of smush it out a little bit at the one end. I don't know if you can see here. And I just kind of slide it towards the one side and then I push it down in on the other side. Um, and then you can just from there kind of poof it out and everything. And when you feel down to like the corners and everything on whether, you know, people I think are afraid that maybe along the edges here or the corner of your bag it could push out there. It doesn't actually touch the corners. It basically just slides in and it fits inside, but there's no actual pushing or um, touching to the edges of the bags, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Um, so I don't think that that would happen. What I love about this for the Speedy is, um, I know there's always that talk on whether, and I mentioned it in my first unboxing video, on whether you know you like the sag, you don't like the sag of the bag, and everything like that. For myself, being that these are so lightweight, and then once you put um, some, uh, some of your items and everything in it, and I will try to show it to you once I repack my purse here for you at the end, it has, because the Speedy is, it's a structured sort of looking bag, but yet it's not. And it's meant to, I think, have a little bit of a sag, a little bit of um, just kind of that casual vibe to it. And this, because there's no firm, hard bag shaper in the bottom of the organizer, it still allows you to have just that little bit of a sag, the perfect sag. Um, I think what everybody would want for a Speedy. So it doesn't make it look so structured and stiff, but it doesn't make it look like it has that big droop, the big sag or anything like that. It's just, it's the perfect amount. So um, I, I'm i in love with it. It's made everything really great for getting in and out of the bag, for putting my wallet in and everything. I'm not worried about it getting scratched or anything. It just slides right in um, and it's just going along such soft, material and everything that I'm not worried about it um, and then kind of everything has its own little place in the bag so with that being said I will show you how I pack everything up into uh, the bag now and you can see how everything actually fits in a little more closely I'll show you now how I uh, pack my speedy um, I will mention too that I did actually for the um, bag organizer I did get it in the cream color um, the interior color for this bag is described as white, but I wouldn't really call it a true white color. I kind of call it more of a creamy off-white color. 
Um, so I went with the cream color instead of the white for the bag organizer. Uh, Smorga has so many different colors that you can get, so it can pretty much match almost any interior bag color that you have. Um, and I just kind of thought the cream didn't look quite as stark as the white. I just thought it was a little more softer, a little more warmer looking, so that's the one I went with. Uh, so to pack it, I usually, I just take my keys here, and I will slide them into one of the end pockets. And then in the other end pocket, I usually put my little um, card holder. So I will put it just down in there. Um, I have my sunglasses, and I usually just slide them into the middle pocket here. Uh, and then my little um, pouches that I have with all my odds and ends, I slide them into one of the side, or big long middle compartments here that are on the uh, on either side of this middle piece here. And so I put the one there, and then I put the other one just on its end, um, right beside it. And then if I have my notebook with me, I will put it on the other side over here. And then I will put the my Sarah wallet um, just um, on its end, flat into the middle here. It does poke up a little, so it's not my favorite way to have it. If I don't have my notebook with me, then I will lay it on its side here and I'm a little more comfortable with it being there. So it all just kind of depends on what I have with me. I did realize actually as I'm repacking this bag up um, that I don't didn't have my phone with me. Um, it's probably one of the kids have it or it's laying around the house somewhere. Um, but I would normally put it in just one of these little pockets here as well and then I do have my um, hand sanitizer I just put it in one of the end pockets as well um, just down in there I find um, on one end more so than the other the pocket on either side it is a little bit more narrow so it fits kind of just more your fiddly little things like a hand sanitizer so it's kind of the perfect spot for that and not really much more but the rest of the pockets aren't a bad size at all and then I still have room in here for something else um, not really sure what I would put. I mean, you could put a bottle of water. I'm not sure I would be putting water, not in this bag anyways. Um, but you know, there's lots of room for different things. Or like I said, you can remove this. Um, I just like that on either side, there's felt protecting kind of all of these things. And it just keeps everything um, nice and fit and organized. But you can see that nothing is gonna slide around in there. Um, and everything just has its own little spot and easy to find when you're searching for something and you're trying to pull something out of your purse. So really loving, really loving this uh, bag organizer. And there you go, all zipped up. So now you can all, you can see the bag, it's all uh, repacked and organized. Um, and you can see that there is a little bit um, of a sag here to the bag now, um, just because there's a bit of weight. Obviously, if you put um, a bit more into it, um, you know, the sag would be a little bit more, but I just find it's kind of like that perfect. It's not all completely droopy, it's just perfect, like I've said now. <laughs> um, and it kind of takes out any like really substantial wrinkles that you kind of might have gotten, so I think it kind of holds its shape and everything a little bit better um, with it, um, as long as well as on the ends and everything like that. So, uh, quite enjoying that. The other thing I liked about it um, is I will use this to um, store my bag and everything. I'll store the organizer in the bag. Um, I did notice that when I first got this bag, um, I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, um, but the zipper up here, when I don't have anything inside the bag, it kind of sinks in on itself a little bit and I didn't really like the way it looked. Whereas now with the organizer um, in it, it just kind of keeps its nice sort of rounded shape here and everything and the zipper just seems to be the perfect way it should be. It's laying well, pretty well flat and everything so that it can pull nice and evenly and smoothly. So I will definitely leave the organizer in it when uh, storing the bag, um, when it's not in use and everything like that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions regarding the Smorga Bag Organizer, feel free to uh, leave some any of your questions in the comment section below and I will definitely answer anything that you have, want to know about it. I did purchase this organizer myself, so I, everything that I've told you today about it is completely honest. It's my opinion um, and so any questions that you have, I will honestly answer them. Um, Smorga doesn't even know that I'm filming this video or anything like that. Um, I know that there's a lot of different 
different bag organizers um, in the marketplace and this just happens to be the one I chose um, and the one that I liked and so I just wanted to share it with you. Um, I was really excited about it. I'm really excited how it's worked out for me and I just thought I'd let you guys know all about it. Uh, if you liked the video today, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, I would really love it if you would like to subscribe. It would uh, mean a lot to me. Um, but until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye friends!